training. Um, the trainings I use are connected in the comments below. Uh, this is how I implemented it. Now I do those trainings that they showed on the videos, but uh, everything I've read said that you need to uh, spice it up basically and make it more difficult for them to listen and test their impulse control. So use a variety of objects like a tug toy, um, tennis balls, food, um, everything you can think of and don't get stuck just using the same tug toy. So you see, uh, Prince will do really good with this tug toy, but when I bring out a new tug toy, it's even harder for him to resist. So this is how I'm trying to reinforce and uh, work on his impulse control using the drop it, take it, leave it uh, command. So we're gonna get started. Rudy's gonna sit on the sofa nicely and be patient. And uh, here we go. Prince, you ready? So I wanna get his attention on me first. Press it. Some of these treats. Come here. Sit. Root. Eyes. Look at my eyes. Good boy. Okay. The other quick thing is you never want a food to grab the food from you like that. You know, their jaws go out because that leads to raw fingers. So it's just a quick little. Uh, you know, you show them the food, and if they go to reach for it, you pull your wrist back. That way your fingers don't get sore, and you wait till they sit gently, and then you give them the food. You take the food to them. See, he moves. Just pull him back. It's another good impulse control thing. And when he sits still, I give it to him, and no raw fingers. Okay, group, you need to actually get up here, buddy. Stay. Come here, friends. Nope. Sit. Okay. Leave it. Notice how he's in, he won't go for it until I say, take it. And this is really helps. Uh, so if you want to play tug and burn some energy off on your dog, it's great because then your hand and fingers aren't getting chewed off at the same time. So when I'm done, and these are short sessions, I'm just going to drop it, lead back, and say drop, and drop the tree. That's teaching him that something's better than what's in his mouth now. And he releases the toy, and then immediately goes for the tree. Eventually, you'll get rid of the tree. Okay, so sit. Always reinforce your other commands that you've taught him. Stay. Leave. No. And if he goes for it, makes motion, you just pull it back. Uh oh. No. Leave it. Good boy. And if he does really good, you give him a treat. It's another way to avoid fingers getting smushed. Put it right in their mouth, in a cup, in your hand. Leave. Take. Okay, go. Come on, boy. Oh, you're so strong. Go, go, go. Drop. There, right there, right there. You want to make it exciting for them too. You know, pointing out the food on the floor. There, there. Get them to go. Come here. Sit. Rudy just plays the scavenger part. Okay. Stay. Leave. You want to make it enticing for him to leave. No. Uh-uh. Take. <coughs> go. There you go. There you go. There you go. Drop. Notice I take a step back because I want him to drop the toy and go away from it and where you can get the treats and then I can come get it and say leave. Good boy. Now, put this one away and get out the new one 
It's a little trickier. You can already see he's very excited. Down. Nope. Uh-uh. Leave. And because this is so hard for him, I'm actually going to go ahead and use hot dog, which just fell, to reinforce the leave. Good boy. Leave. Good boy. Leave. Yeah, see? Leave. Right here. Good boy. Nope. Leave. Take it. Drop. Fit. Good boy. Good boy. So that's using a tug toy and teaching them how to play safely with you with the tug toy while using the leave it, drop it command. Um, change your stimuli. Uh, don't use the same thing over and over. Introduce new things because when you're outside walking and you want to lose use the leave it drop it command they're not going to be uh, leaving and dropping household things so put new interesting things things that excite them so you can uh, help them learn how to control the things that are most exciting to them like uh, rabbits squirrels other dogs uh, you can definitely use that on other dogs you know leave it when you're walking you don't want him to react to a dog so you know I'm a long way from being able to implement that that way, but this is how you start. Thanks.